Hello, everybody. My name is Amar Khan, and I represent CBD Box Factory. Uh, we're one of the exhibitors uh, at the convention center. I thank you all for coming today. I really appreciate that. Uh, the things that we're going to discuss, basically, uh, I'm going to first introduce myself and go over point by point. Uh, my presentation is divided into four different categories. Uh, and I'll discuss that over with you all uh, one at a time. So starting off with my introduction, uh, yes, like I said, my name is Amar Khan, and I'm the sales manager at CBD Box Factory. We're one of the exhibitors. Uh, a lot of people call me the box guy, the box manufacturer, the packaging guy. So I have, uh, I get a lot of names like that. So I'm like a solution provider for packaging in uh, all kinds of boxes. Uh, all that kind of stuff. So uh, my expertise are not just in the packaging, working in this industry, I've had uh, quite a bit of knowledge in terms of what needs to be on the packaging, in terms of uh, all kinds of requirements, approvals, uh, designs and artworks, of course, and also not only that, but what looks good and what looks does, what does not. So this article, I'm basically sharing it with uh, it's from our website, it's, it's a blog, and it basically, the main key point is that it's, the subject of this is it has 16 points, 16 label requirements uh, your CBD brand should not miss uh, when it comes to packaging. So initially I'm gonna start by uh, talking about the four labeling requirements your CBD brand cannot miss, starting up with the identity. Uh, the first and foremost, your CBD products label should state what it is. Of course, CBD, it's extremely important. This info should go on the product display panel on the front of the box of each and every product you sell. Uh, while products that have both inner and outer CBD packaging, so that means you have a box and then you also have a label inside on the bottle, uh, you don't really have to have to list their identity on the inner packaging, which is the labels, but it's extremely important to have an outer packaging, packaging with, uh, with your identity, your brand name on the front of the box, nicely readable and easy to understand. Uh, please also note that some CBD brands try to stay legally safe by avoiding the word CBD entirely, uh, swap, swapping it out with terms such as hemp extract or hemp oil or hemp aerial parts is I would suggest not to do that, is not to leave this word CBD out of your labels. It can be confusing for customers. And depending on how you look at it, it also violates some FDA's most basic labeling requirements, which, which is the most, the first thing that you gotta do in your, when you're branding your CBD. The next thing I'm gonna discuss is the net weight uh, of the brand of your product. Uh, this requirement is also pretty simple. Your CBD products should list their net weight very clearly on the label. Most one ounce tincture bottles will hold exactly one ounce, 30 ml of CBD oil. So figuring out the net weight is pretty easy for the customers. If your product is a liquid, uh, it should net weight by volume. Uh, otherwise it should be a solid and that should go into a matter of actual weight itself. So when you place this info on a product's label, it matters too. The, so the net weight should be listed on the info panel of your product's inner container and on the bottom 30% of your product's outer container, if it has one. So something along the lines of the bottom 30% uh, underneath the brand, the flavor name, uh, ideally you should have a, a mention of the weight itself, uh, the volume of the weight, 30 ml or one ounce, either way it's fine. Uh, full ingredient list. And that's extremely important as well. Just like any other nutritional supplements, your CBD product should have all of its ingredient listed very clearly. Uh, not to have it on the front panel, I would say something on the side panel of the box is ideally, uh, so it has nice clear reading out to it. Uh, if your product doesn't have any outer container, 
this list needs to be placed onto this product itself. So ideally it would have to go on the label going around the jar or the tincture bottle. Placing these ingredients on its info panel in the order they occur, for example, like MCT oil, comma, full spectrum, CBD, natural flavorings, that's how exactly in the same format it needs to be. Uh, places like New Mexico and Colorado both require that hemp and CBD are clearly identified in a product's ingredient list. Uh, remember that some somewhat shady practices we mentioned previously, the trend away from using the term CBD at all, that is one reason why it's not such a good idea. Next things I'm gonna discuss is some labeling practices. Four of these labeling practices your CBD brand should not miss. Uh, the number one should be that the QR codes. This labeling requirement, QR codes for those unfamiliar are those little square shaped barcodes that you've been seeing on a growing number of products recently with the, with the improvements in technology. Uh, first introduced and back in 1994 by automotive industry, QR codes have nearly endless amount of applications. Uh, in this case, they present a great way to pack more info onto your product's label without making things overcrowded. So with the help of a QR code, uh, you can save data, you can have, you can link that to your business card, you can link that to your, your website or any contact form. We use it in many specific ways uh, and you can have large amount of information in just a small size QR code. Uh, you can link them to your lab test results, batch numbers or other valuable infos. In a few states, QR codes are actually requir required on the CBD products. For example, over here in Indiana, uh, there, it is the strictest QR code mandates. All products need to have them and use them to list expiration dates. Uh, other potential requirements I would include the batch identification numbers on the box, the product name, the batch date, expiration date, uh, and all that kind of stuff. FDA disclaimers. Now, some states like Colorado uh, require that FDA-centric disclaimer be listed on the product CBD product labels. Something like the FDA has not evaluated this product for safety or efficacy should suffice, should, should be mentioned, very important. Some brands should go a step further stating that this product is not intended to diagnose, treat, or prevent any disease, choice being yours that you wanna add that or not. Uh, so I've seen that on a lot of packaging, uh, a lot of customers adding these statements onto their branding, especially on the outer packaging. It's more important. You get more space on the outer packaging. So you, you tend to have this, these statements, which is very important. Contact info. You might wanna add your contact info the, as your product's label already lists its manufacturer's name and address. So why not go a step further and provide a phone number or a website link as well? So that will, once the customer receives the package, they just look at it and they have your contact info of your website or your phone number or email. There has to be some sort of contact in that, on that packaging. Uh, of course, the choice is yours. Listing sufficient contact info on your product is always a good idea. Uh, not to being overcrowded information is always is suggested, but keeping it nice and simple is very important. So if you're short in space, just link it like a scannable QR code to your contact, to your website, to your phone number and emails and all that kind of stuff. Moving on, uh, we've got some common mistakes that I feel a lot of customers, a lot of companies make uh, in the CBD industry. Uh, I do feel there's a lot of information overload. Uh, let's face it, I mean, the average CBD industry product label is tiny, uh, they're about small packaging bottles, there's small boxes, so the amount of information you wanna keep on your packaging is, it has to be sufficient according to the size of the product. So the average CBD product label is tiny and there's a lot of good info that could potentially be listed on it, but some brands attempt to find the best of both worlds by just shrinking their labels down, making their text smaller, smaller until everything fits, just trying to put overlo overloading all the information on the labels. That's always not a good idea. I, as a packaging company, I always suggest to have uh, an, an equal proportion of information onto the labels and also on the boxes. 
So don't overdo it. Not only does the tactic present too much information, but it also presents information that's illegible and not able to read for your customers. Stoner cultural organization. Unless your CBD brand is catered towards specifically 420 enthusiasts, try not to bring up cannabis too much in your product. The year is, this is 2021, and most people know by, that, know by now that CBD is not weed. Your brand's persona should be more professional than that, I feel, and so should it be, should it labels be as well. That means you're free to skip the cannabis-related imagery and list of this labeling and packaging stuff you've been talking about instead. Based on the inspection and a review of your product labels on your websites, we have identified serious violations of the Federal Food, Drug, and uh, Cosmetic Act in the FDA regulations. Uh, and that has happened to dozens of CBD companies recently. So as a CBD startup, the above sentence is something that you never want to hear. The, yet many CBD companies do hear it the, via the FDA's infamous warning letters. Why? Usually because they make they make they take medical claims. Said letters often go on to say the claims on your company's product labels and websites establish that your product are drugs under Section 201 of the Act 321G because they're intended for use in the diagnosis, cure, mitigation, treatment, or prevention of disease or intended to affect the structure or function of the body. Uh, long stay short, uh, Make sure your product label doesn't contain any any say in its for its chronic pain, uh, and also not to semblance of any medical claims that it's not doing. So don't describe your latest product as anxiety reducing or say it's for chronic pain or avoiding use avoid using any fear based buzzwords and stay especially clear of mentioning the coronavirus. The FDA is taking um, medical claims even more seriously when this. COVID era, of course. Uh, low standardization. This point may surprise you, but it's something we have encountered a lot over the recent years. Uh, some CBD companies have sloppily applied labels on, on their products. If you're a CBD startup, don't have the actual labeling processing automized yet. Just be careful. It makes sure all your labels are applied evenly across your product packaging bottles. So like I said before, your packaging, your information that goes on the labels, it has to be extremely proportionate. It's very important. So uneven labels can provide a pretty bad first impression to your, to your customers. Uh, lastly, I'm going to discuss some um, points to make your packaging, your CPD packaging stand out. Uh, when it comes to the outer packaging, the labels and everything. And that's just my suggestion as a, as a packaging manufacturer. Uh, the outer packaging is by no means legally required uh, by the FDA. And for obvious reasons, it's less cost effective than sticking with inner packaging alone. Uh, still placing a CBD tincture box around your product provides sp several advantages and positives. Uh, firstly, it gives a professional appearance, a, a first a professional look to it. It frees up a lot of clean space on the label itself. So you can take some information out of the labels and have it on the box, which gives more space. Uh, and it provides a place to put package inserts, if required, that is. Uh, also, some customers have complained that they need, do need some sort of UV protection. Uh, so a package, like a box around the bottle, is just ideal. Uh, when it comes to some products that need UV protection. Uh, social proof. A brand social proof usually comes in the form of either uh, their reviews or affiliates or social media following when it comes to product labeling. However, there's one big way you can harness it by getting the support of medical professionals. If your brand is physician uh, formulated, don't neglect to mention uh, this on your product labels. You might even ask the doc to provide their signature on each and every product label or every bottle. There are other ways to relay social proof to your customers. Uh, two, just speak to your intended demographic about the thing that they know best. If, you're, if your brand is in the luxury end, luxury market, then your product's packaging should be all about that lux feeling. In other words, visually cater to your niche. 
package inserts. We mentioned this briefly previously, I did, when going over the outer packaging, but package inserts are extremely important enough to warrant their own little section. A package insert can be anything given today's customers have a lot of questions about CBD. Uh, why not include a branded sticker? These little touches can help show your customers that you truly care about them. By adding a little cost to your product, it doesn't harm. Uh, you add a more value to your product as well. Incredible design. This is one of my favorite aspects in the packaging, that good design is always good business. Uh, the advantage of custom packaging solutions, uh, it's basically there's a lot of advantages. Uh, number one is the reliability. We're with you in every step of the way. So if you make a label sizing mistake, run into legal business issues, or just need some advice, we'll be there to help you find the right solution. Uh, our pricing is pretty competitive, uh, highly flexible, and highly convenient. So, and we can do we work with you in in terms of advice, design work, distribution, uh, marketing, and all that's included in the cost. So we provide free digital proofs and charge very low minimums and everything. Uh, to sum things up, I just like to say that your brand, your CBD brand labeling can either make or break its image. Uh, its labeling needs to be informative, refined, and as stated in the first four uh, labeling practices we went over, uh, it has to be legal. That's very important. Don't leave these points to a printing company uh, that doesn't that doesn't specialize in the CBD industry rather than go to uh, your own manufacturer in the CBD industry and we can help you out with that. At the end of the day, I would like to thank you all for coming. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to uh, let me know or ask any questions.